In this ADS tutorial, I thought I'd have a look at the delete gap function. You can see that it's mapped here on the keyboard shortcuts to letter S, shift key and alt key. So that's S, shift, alt. And that's for delete gap. Now the delete gap function works on any item that you have selected. So if I select an item like this on the timeline and press shift, alt, S, it moves down that item, but also everything behind it. I'll undo that. If I select more than one item and press Shift Alt S, it condenses the two items and removes the gap as well as the gap in front. If I select those two and leave a gap and then select the back one with the Shift key and then press Alt Shift S, it condenses all of the items that I selected, including that gap there at the end, but leaves the other ones with their relative gaps. If I want to move a bunch of stuff at the same time, I could simply select both the active items and press Shift Alt S, and that moves them down relative to each other. But you'll notice that this gap down here remains. So it only stops when there is a clip collision, but it doesn't lose sync. So if I want to move uh, all of these items like this, everything behind the active clip will get moved. But if I move just this clip and this clip, watch what happens. Shift, Alt, S. The gap in front of the music clip at the bottom here got moved all the way along and it brought all of the other clips with it whilst the gap was removed between this clip and this clip. So you do have to be a bit careful about what you do with the remo remove gap function but you do have to select something. So if you just want to move a bunch of clips and leave their gaps, just select the first clip and press Shift Alt S. But if you want to remove all of the gaps, you need to select all of the clips that have gaps between them and it will perform the remove gap function iteratively throughout the clips. Shift Alt S. Perhaps you have a voiceover with a lot of retakes or individual takes and you want to condense them all. You would play along to the section you want to start the edit, pop a slice in there, move along to the next piece, pop a slice in there, then select the item and delete it. Or if you want to condense the clip, you put it in ripple mode and delete it and that will re remove that space in the clip. But that's a number of keystrokes that you have to perform to remove that gap. Another way of achieving this is to assign to your keyboard the slice tool or add cut point tool. So we can go to user settings, type in cut. I've already assigned it to the selected track. So instead of cutting everything, I just want to cut the active item. So that's on the F3 key currently selected. And then what I want to add is ripple trim function. So I have the ripple trim in point and the ripple trim out point on selected items to F2 and F4. So you'll notice that I have a cut in the middle on F3 and then I have a ripple trim on F2 and F4. And let's see what that does to reduce our number of keystrokes. I play through to the item where I want to perform the edit. I make sure my clip is active. Then I press F3. I move the playhead along and press F2. And that condenses the clip by performing a ripple trim on its head. I move along to the next point. F3, cut, F2, trim. Move along to the next point. Maybe I want to eliminate this one, so I go to the next one. Maybe it's a take two, press F2, and it gets rid of everything on the left-hand side. And maybe this is the end of the clip and I don't need any more. Press F4, and that tightens up the whole thing. So instead of performing delete gaps or cutting and slicing and deleting alternate items, we just use this cut tool with the ripple trim function on either side. 